A young man in lacrosse is breaking down barriers with an amazing gift. Yeah, his skills in the popular yarn craft crochet have inspired people of all ages from all over the world now to follow their passion. And get this, he's only 11 years old. He's using all of the attention to make a difference in a country that has a special place in his heart. News 8's Jordan Fremstead has the story. Every story begins with an opening line. Hi, crochet friends. It's Jonah and Jonah Larson's story began six years ago. Yeah. Our aunt gave us a bag of crafts for us kids to look through. And I found a object that looked like this. A crochet hook. Right now I'm, I'm, I'm actually making a hat. That spun a series of events this lacrosse family didn't expect. It's just been a really fun adventure for the whole family. With only a few YouTube tutorials, Jonah wove what many would call a hobby into a business. That first crochet hook has led me very far. So far, all the way from the Lacrosse Tribune's first introduction to his now more than 20,000 YouTube followers, 122,000 Instagram followers, and appearances on national talk shows like Pickler and Ben. After a while, I sort of just got used to all the interviews and all that. An article in Forbes magazine, a feature on CBS News, a book deal, and if that wasn't enough, a contract with Yarnspirations. He's going to be in Oprah magazine, at Women's World. I can't even remember them all. All stemming from his first project, he made at age five. I made my first dishcloth, which we still have today, and we use it in the kitchen. Now he can make. Really anything imaginable. When Jonah wants to do something, Jonah does it. He figures it out. Sure, the attention is great, but the climax of this story is inside Jonah's heart. If you just think, what could you be doing as a way to thank the people who brought you? He has a GoFundMe page collaborating with the nonprofit Roots Ethiopia to help mothers learn trade skills so they can support their families in the same village he was born. They help keep families together, they help kids go to school, and they help with orphan care. Jonah was an orphan himself and was abandoned by his birth mother. Obviously things worked out for the better, but Jonah is spreading his good fortune to those still looking for theirs. And this is the way I could help. His skills have gravitated to people around the world. And I've heard it from so many people that this is just a time in the world right now where they needed a bit of joy and happiness and they found it through Jonah's crochet. The evidence is left at their front porch every day in the form of gifts and postcards with no end in sight. His advice to people is to tell their story the way they want. Just do what you love. And like all great stories, they have to have a closing line. Goodbye and crochet away, friends. But Jonah will tell you his story is only the beginning. In Lacrosse, Jordan Fremstead, News 8. Crocheting his way into all these hearts. Well, Jonah's GoFundMe page has already received more than $3,500 in donations. And he says he is also in contact with the Steve Harvey Show and is excited to continue sharing his passion with the world. We oh, love his watching, too. Hands are just so I know, dexterous. he doesn't have to look at it.